Hello, and welcome back to Amnesia, the machine for pigs. Alright, continuing through, trying to find a way to sabotage this, this machine. And, uh, put right hook in before we're done. At least as much as you can. Coolant pumps. I sense an opportunity for my first strike. Competing these cogs with a large enough object should jam the flow of the coolant causing a pressure building that will split the pipes and rupture the tanks. Yeah, this will work. wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> but it did deposit me down here again. Alright, well, anyway. Back up I go. Just think about what you're doing. Oh, I didn't see this before. October 27th, 1899. Then upstairs to bed. To bed. To toss and turn on bloated stomachs. To copulate and puke upon the chez lounge. For a poster dressing table. Or for... for, oh, for <laughs> wow. Hello. <laughs> it's, it's late. Chez lounge, four poster or dressing table. Collapse at last into the engulfing mattress. Drunk and drugged and fat and stupid and senseless. And spring the trap, man piggy, spring the trap. At a pull of a lever, a set of hydraulic pistons and gears are fired, resulting in the three walls of steel bars. Oh! Three walls of steel bars dropping from the ceiling via the canopy to cage the product into the bed, preventing escape. That's where I started. The entire bed is then tilted backwards into the wall by a powerful spring mechanism, also fed by the hydraulics. The pressure for this system is created as a byproduct of the vacuum and evisceration system employed for mass production elsewhere in the pig line. In this way, we have created our very own bottle revolution for the moment of the masses, the movement of the masses as a casual factor in the extermination of the rich. So I woke up in one of those beds. That explains why there were steel bars around.
drop down here now. Now they fry the piggy. Yup. Oh hey, this looks similar to what I was what I saw before. Pig lines, central operations. Alright, so what do I flip? Oh gosh. It did something. I don't know what it did, but it did something. Let's flip another one. Flip all the switches. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too low to madness. My great works are almost begun. But it's burning. That's good, right? Oh, the spark was. Oh, I guess I can turn my lantern back on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> October 27th, 1899. And waste not, want not, for here the assorted slop and innards are sifted and sorted and enter the world through mere, more channels and means than one could possibly conceive. The product passes by this section of the engine and is driven through the blade, splitting it into two sections, ready for the butcher's block. And in the interim, it is kept in our freezer bays under the house and the heat produced naturally by the refrigeration process feeds into the pipes and crannies of these rooms, and is the very reason, my dear friend, that we can sit here in shirts and waistcoats but no jackets, on a freezing winter's night, without a fire in the grate, and discuss our great enterprise. The warmth in our bellies and toes may be attributed directly to those bellies and toes even now passing through steam, fire, and blade beneath our feet. Awesome. It is critically injured now, I'm sure of that. It jeers no more. I feel it shudder around me, a wounded animal pressed flat into the ground. I feel it is afraid of me, and I hate it all the more, as I hate myself for unleashing it. My head pounds with blood, my teeth vibrate. I pardon me, I retch and burn with fever. I am an angel of death, descending to smother the firstborn for the death of the two that came after. I am here again, at the foot of those stairs, towards the red light of the nursery, sunset in the window like a bleeding sky, the horizon a slit throat, the seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the jaguar-faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. I 
can meet him. Your great engineer, how marvelous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Manders. Manders, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Manders! We are the pig, Professor. We are all the pig. What is that? A head. Those pigs? Or are those people? Oh. Hi, boys. I climb in stillness now. Blue water runs in my veins, now I am keen. I carry the knife of this factory, the bowl of this mill. I am come to collect you from your fields and your furnaces. I will gather you into the white clouds. I will gather you to me, and I will take you home. Just me and him now. 
Frost forms on my coat sleeves, the deathly still and the freezing air tell me I am close.
man is descending amongst, amongst the spirits. I deny you. I am not your chattel. I will not be your operator, the monkey to your organ grinder. Did my soul split, creating him? Was this the egg of my soul, the moment the great clock began to tick? Is the only path to redemption to join us together again, to make myself whole, to close the great circle and take that madman into my heart once more, and forgive him and myself as well? I love you, my darlings, and I am sorry. I am sorry for all I have done. I simply loved you all too much for this world. search for instruction, for advice, for help in my goals, but in return the system mocks me. Simpleton, it says. You must find your own answers now. Mandus, put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas. You've seen the 20th century? Close it! Oh gosh. 
Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, wait, this it just took me back where I wanted. What the heck? What? What the? That's a heart. What on earth? So the heart of this machine is literally a heart? South Tower, which means there's probably a North Tower, which means two towers, two children, two twins, two twin towers, two twin boys. humanity, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them in the temple steps, knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. 
We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out, 
And in that moment, the new century was born. Amnesia Machine for Pigs. So, I'm going to have to let it sink in for a bit, but obviously, uh, Amanda sacrificed his children. Assuming they were somehow powering the machine, I'm not exactly sure. I still don't know who that other guy is, if that's his alter ego, or... And I don't know why sacrificing himself stopped the machine either. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's something that I'm uh, struggling against the machine that is unconscious. Conscious. Um, I'm sure I'm... I'm something that I just haven't thought about yet. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure there's something I haven't thought about yet. Um, and it'll, it'll all come together for me eventually as I think about it. Anyway, that was, uh, that was an interesting game. Um, definitely did not, um, didn't scare me as much as The Dark Descent did. Um, probably, part of that was probably attributed to the fact that I had a forever light source. Um, and I took a <laughs> or broke <laughs> Um. So yeah, it wasn't, uh, it definitely wasn't as scary as Amnesia Dark Descent. Definitely as, wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. So that's kind of, that was kind of uh, partially disappointing and partially I'm like, oh, well, it's not that bad really, because I don't like being scared in the first place. Um, but it was definitely an interesting game. The great unknown masses of people. They didn't really expand too much on the connection to Amnesia the Dark Descent either. It kind of seemed like they would expand a little more on that, but I guess they expounded on it all they needed to. Just to explain why the piggies could act as they did. So. Is that going to fade away, or do I need to... Okay, hit the button. <laughs> it's like, I'm not sure what it's going to do, so. Alright. Oh, I, I just noticed that this is a shot of a decontamination chamber. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure. Hope you enjoyed Amnesia Machine for Pigs. And I hope you'll come back and see me next time and see what else I've got cooked up for you. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Until next time. Bye.